up to a new year 2024. We've started with energy, we've started with power, we've started like we have never been here before. This is a new beginning, uh, though it has taken a good part of 2023 to prepare, but I can say so far, so good. So many things have changed from uh, the farm plan, from the irrigation system, from the machines that you are using for irrigation, uh, to the training schedule. Uh, to start with, this, we'll be having a weekly training, which will be live training on this YouTube channel. We'll, we'll, uh, we are going to schedule the time so that we can be there and learn each and every day. If you want to be present during the training, uh, the recording will be left there for you to learn. And as you can see, uh, the irrigation system has changed. We've run away from uh, for irrigation. We are now using mobile irrigation as like you're seeing behind me, which is sprinkler irrigation. I know some of you may be worried why am I using a lot of water uh, to run this, but wait, relax. I'm going to show you the real thing. The reason to why I'm not worried about uh, the amount of water I'm using. I'm not worried about uh, the kind of system I'm using. I'm not in a hurry to adopt the drip irrigation, but uh, in a few months from today or in a few weeks from today, we are going to, to, uh, to drip irrigation. To start with, what we've done behind me is uh, cowpeas, local name known as kunde. Uh, we are doing it for green vegetables. I know some of you knows it for, for the greens, but this time round I'm doing it for the green vegetable. How we do in the whole farm, there is no part of the farm that won't taste this because the vegetable itself goes for uh, less than a month. Then I, I uproot it, sell it. Then the section that I've already done the green vegetable, I'm going to do another crop. This is the first week on the upper part where you are seeing the sprinkler that is sleeping on low on the ground. That's the second week of planting. The, upper, the other side, you are going to do the fourth week, that way, that way, until we are done with the 53 weeks of this year. We've already done two weeks. That means we'll have done 55 weeks of Dania, or of Kunde, or of cowpeas farming, uh, the whole of uh, 2024. Um, much have changed. Uh, I've shifted from from mono cropping, like you know, I used to do a lot of watermelon. I used to do a lot of capsicum. I used to do a lot of uh, maize, cabbages, but in a mono crop. This time round, I'm calling it skilling. I've skilled and I'm doing different crop in one setup or in one section of land. Like in my case, uh, after the, we have done cowpeas, in the nurseries that I will show you, we have uh, capsicum, we have cabbages, we have kales, we have spinach, we have dania that will be done on weekly basis, we will be doing watermelon and so many other crops. So that just but a lick up of what will be done, will be done. today is just but um, another view of what the farm, what I have in the farm. Uh, the plan I have for the for 2024, uh, the, my new irrigation system, which you've already seen, it's sprinkler, it's raining everywhere, almost it's raining on your side. You see, it's raining where I am, and it's also as if it is going to rain on your side. Uh, this is what we'll be using. Uh, we want to see which crop cannot be done under uh, sprinkler irrigation and which crop can be done under sprinkler irrigation. For any mistake, we learn. For any win, we learn. So we are, we are here to learn, no matter what. I do a mistake, you learn, you fail to do that mistake. I win, you learn, and you amplify my win. Uh, this is the first day. We've started winning. We've started with the plan. we started with the actualization. We want to have 365 wins. We want to have 12 wins. We want to have uh, two wins. We want to have four wins, that is 365 days, we want to have 12 months of winning, we want to have two quarters of 
two half of winning, which is six months, six months, and we all want to have four quarters of winning. So it's a win, win, win through the year. Uh, for the plan, uh, on weekly basis, I'll be training you, or I'll be sharing uh, an overview of different stages of crop production. Uh, like for this week, this is just an introduction, we'll touch on uh, kunde farming or cowpeas farming, which, by the way, this one is pure organic. It's pure organic. This section here, I'll be doing organic. I'll be doing nursery. Pure organic, no chemicals, just seed and nothing else. Uh, this is just watering, planting and watering. There is nothing more. There is nothing less. So if you have a little solution of uh, eating or consuming organic food, you have now a supplier. I'll be a supplier. I'll sell it for you. Uh, the farm will be uh, purposely training and also for commercial production. So um, the overview is we'll have um, a weekly update of different crops from uh, the cowpeas which we've already done, uh, cabbages from planting to harvesting to the marketing, capsicum from planting to harvest to the marketing, watermelon from planting to harvesting to the marketing, different crops just to mention but a few. Uh, coriander which you have already in the nursery I'm going to show you it to you uh, right right now from planting to the market so it's a pure learning it's uh you need now to to have a book this is your lecturer friend your lecturer friend you need to have a book where you'll be taking notes because there will be so many updates from farm input i'll i'll share with you the best farm input the best chemicals the best organic product the best system from uh, sprinkler irrigation all the tools to the water pumps, everything, this is the year that you need to know everything that you need uh, for you to succeed. Without forgetting, going to the market. It will be a, a series, uh, so you need to, to tune. If you have not subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Subscribe so that we can continue learning. Uh, the remaining part, the remaining bit of, uh, of the farm up there, uh, that year we'll continue with our <coughs> third week of cowpeas and the, the, the other section. You are seeing there is a section that I'm preparing on the upper part there. I'm preparing the upper part. That we are, uh, we are going to do the cabbages, you do the kale, you do the spinach, you do the watermelon. Because somehow it will be a combination of IPM, I'm using organic product and inorganic product. But in this section, it will be pure organic. No chemical, no fertilizer, manure and everything. So uh, be ready to learn, prepare your notebook so that you can continue learning. So that's the upper part where uh, the, the remaining of the training uh, from onion farming to anything that you need to learn about agriculture will be taking place. On the other side is my small portion of, uh, of nursery. I've already done uh, the cabbages, I've done the spinach, I've done the capsicum, I've done the nia, which is coriander, a crop that takes less than 30 days to maturity. We've already done the first week and uh, the second week, the one with the mulch, and looking forward to do uh, other weeks on the, on the, on the lower beds. So you can, as you can see, the capsicum is doing very well. On the other hedge, the cabbages and the kills doing well. The spinach doing well, and also we have some part that we not prepared. So this just by the beginning uh, of everything. Uh, like I told you, the system of irrigation has changed. The system of water application has changed. I've run away from um, furrow irrigation and the interesting part of it i have upgraded i have upgraded uh, in a uh, few years that we've been together a few years that you've been following me i've been using a diesel powered machine which is this one this has been my machine these are among, among the machines that i've been using uh, so um cameraman you can focus from the lower side please only for that this is my machine i want i wanted the cameraman to focus from the lower side so that 
we can it can be visible i'll share a review a, a, a different review of this uh it's um latino's power pump um running with the with the with the with the with a pipe of a uh, three inch pipe outlet, a section of uh, two inch. That's a review of another day. But the most interesting part, I wanted to show you how I've upgraded from using diesel to using renewable energy. As you can see, this house is attempt. This is not unfinished house. This is my solar panel, the solar panel that I've constructed. It's not, don't be scared because of the size you can get you can construct a smaller one or you can increase you can have a double or triple of whatever i'm using uh the production of power when it is the way it is at the moment is producing seven point seven point five kilowatts of energy using this but my pump is using even less than 1.5 kilowatt so i need to increase I, I need to have as many machines as possible for them to be able to consume the power that is being produced under this one loop. It's a bigger size, it's huge, and it's a gift for 2024 for us to learn, for us to, to know uh, what we need to do in order to reduce the cost of production. Remember, uh, they just added COP28, 20, was it COP28 or COP29? I don't remember it was 20 or 29, but they just concluded uh, uh, COP28. The main theme was renewable energy, going to the farm by use of the renewable energy and um, among the first farmers to adopt the system. Yeah. Um, that is the reason why I told you I'm not scared of running the sprinkler irrigation, the whole of my farm, because I know I have power, I have energy, I have the machine, and I have the capacity. Now it's for you to come and learn, for you to follow up this YouTube channel, or for you to follow uh, my Facebook page at Form It Fred, where I'll be sharing uh, much of this and to learn and to be a better farmer. Uh, the consumers have been complaining that uh, uh, farm uh, produce in the market are very expensive, and this has all been brought in by this kind of setup, this kind of machines, because once you use diesel, remember the cost of production becomes higher. But with such an investment, your cost of uh, investment goes low. Your cost of um, uh, the, the, your cost of production goes low, and to become competitive in the market. So, anybody who is using um, who is using diesel to run or to grow cabbages, selling at 50 shillings, I'll be se selling at. 20 or 15 shillings and still making money because it's now my farm will be like it's running under the rain it's just running under the rain because the sun is free the investment is already there and the system is running as you can see um you may be surprised uh you may think that i'm using a low power pump the pump that i'm using or the the system that i'm using for my irrigation is a very powerful pump with an head of 80 meters, head of 80 meters, that means a pipe is supposed to stand at 80 meters tall. Um, the running is, it's delivering 30,000 30, liters per hour, one kilometer. The pipe is supposed to run for one kilometer for it to deliver 30,000 liters per hour. My farm is not even, is not even a half a kilometer. It's delivering more than 40,000 liters per hour. To an extent, I cannot be able to run, use that water within that hour. So we've reduced the power intake to the pump. We've reduced the power output of water for me to be able to run my pump until my capacity allows me to run the full uh, capacity pump or to run the full power so that because uh, the system itself at the, at the moment is we are underdoing it all. We are under using the machine and we are under using the, the whole system. It's a big system and it's a system worth investing in. If you want more details about the system, I'll be sharing a review of the same and the pump and the irrigation system. Those who may be interested to know about the installation of the of the sprinklers, I shared a very good video on this YouTube channel. 
go check i'll land how i shown them i'll share more the review is coming very soon so that you can know who did this for me uh what it costed me the system and everything the piping that you need everything that you need to know about the pump we are here for the next 53 weeks every week i'll be sharing the update i'll be uh, showing you what is needed to be done uh, so that you can be a better farmer beside me is a big water body where i'll be drawing my water i cannot even use 0 0.000 fraction of this water it's running here day in day out so the water is enough and uh, the system is is okay the nursery is set and i know you are ready you are prepared to learn from my mistake you are prepared to learn from my success from planting to the farming that all for today for the review of what will be taking place in 2024 uh, get your notebook ready i will update you on the days that you will be doing a live show the days that you'll be doing a live recording for you to be able to train you on different aspects of farming also new upload each and every day uh, till this year expires um, for you to be a better farmer i want us to win i want us to succeed i want us to make money like i usually tell you this is a money printing industry and it's farming and this is how we do it if it's your first time you're watching me don't forget forget to subscribe to this youtube channel so that we can continue learning together happy new year 2024